where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. <laughs> you kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Should I intervene in this bullshit? I don't know. I think I will stay out of it. I have no stake in this fight. They are already angry. Maybe getting smacked around by a next Templar will make Barrick hate the Chantry even more. I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand her over on your say so? It's okay, Hawk. This zealot isn't crazy. I promise. <sighs> Look at her. She's finally lost it. The truth is that this is really funny, but Varric <laughs> doesn't think it is. Why do I need Barrick? Well, he's the only dwarf around. With connections to Orsamar. I don't think taking the cavalier attitude will gain me any friends. Both of them are really upset here. And he's asking for my help. Maybe I should. Cassandra will follow because she believes I'm the herald. But Barrick why not? Mm. So let's help out our fellow non human. Alright, you've both made your points. We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but he had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy... Fuck you, Astrid. <laughs> All right, Patrick <laughs> Jewels. <laughs> I think Laws will select this option eventually when he gets here. I'm sure of it. <laughs> he never uh, liked Barrick anyway. Barrick's not at fault. It's the truth. That's the truth. I would say Hawk would have died along with everyone else. But Cassandra makes a very good point. Barrick. Barrick, I don't know, but Barrick in that particular instance showed that he doesn't care about the greater good. Although when we talked in Haven, that was his justification for staying with the Inquisition. And he said, uh, what did he say? He said something like, uh, I want to believe I'm just as selfish as ever, uh, the next man, but this threat is so great, you and I cannot... Uh, Overlook it, something like that. So he he seems to be truly committed to us. Mm. But he has a, a lot of loyalty for his friends as well. Too much, for my liking. 
Although if I become his friend, then he will show that kind of devotion to me. Out of those bonds of friendship, if not the belief that I am the Herald. Which gives us a way into his heart. So, right now, I need to either select four or three. The past is by gone. We need to look into the future. That's number three. Barrick's not at fault. Well, his fault was co concealing a lot of information from, from uh, Cassandra. And if he has it again with us, that would be disastrous. But as I said, he has been very forthcoming. What should I do here? Truly vexed by this decision. Okay. <laughs> mm, if I go with one poncho, I will be undermining Cassandra and Cassandra is a higher ranking member than Barrick that, uh, that I don't think that's a good idea number four is just uh, Making her see a little bit of reason that although Barrick did something very, very bad, he is not ultimately the neither the cause of the explosion nor of the death of the of of, of the divine. Because obviously we saw we saw that vision, saw it, Cassandra. She saw that uh, Corypheus wa was using the divine as a sacrifice, which means that was his plan, to use her to fuel the ritual or whatever they were doing. And there is no way Barrick will, will occupy their, the position he has said very, very, very much yet. He will help us, but he's not interested in getting involved in Inquisition business per se. He he has his own life. Well, Cassandra's life is the Inquisition and the mission of the late Divine Justinia. Uh, so I, I don't think it's a good idea to pull the rug under her. All right, I'm going with number four. If I'm going to gain someone's approval by this, I think I, I will be best served by being Barrick's friend than Cassandra's friend. I don't need I don't need to be her friend to gain her uh, loyalty, but it seems Barrick is is that way. So. Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. 
Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Holy shit, they keep pushing this. But she's making really good points. That's the problem with Cassandra. She's making extremely good points about the nature of Barrick's uh, personality. <sighs> Motherfucker. Why, why do I have to make things so difficult? Would be so easy if I didn't have to figure out this stuff. Is it unfair? No, I don't think it is unfair. Because Cassandra doesn't know what I know, and that, I that is that Barrick uh, does believe this threat is big enough to risk his life. Uh Ah shit All right I'm well aware that agreeing with Cassandra at Barrick is a piece of shit which I cannot do Barrick earned his place. That would be dismissing Cassandra's concern. That he might turn on us. If we put his friends in danger. Or stray from whatever he's, he thinks is the mission of the, of the Inquisition. Okay, I think I have to go for the Care Bear option, if you will. Let's all hug and kiss. For the greater good of the Herald of Andraste. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Exactly! And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. Okay, she's back to her old self which is someone I can manipulate quite easily I think the angry Cassandra <laughs> that's not so easily done what if you hadn't believed him and you tracked Hawk down honestly Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor she supported the Templars in Kirkwall but she had so many enemies, I could have been one of them. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. No. She's the perfect woman for the job. 
If a stupid fucking barrack can't fool her, I can fool her even harder. We are all fools. Okay, I'm leaning either t towards two or three. I don't like I don't like a hardened Cassandra. I think we need to go the opposite direction with Cassandra. Hardening Leliana seems okay because she she loses her humanity along the way. But Cassandra just becomes a force of nature. And and she might try to kill us. We need to go the opposite way, I think. Soften her. So, sh so, so when the day comes, that she must do what she has to to stop us, she will not be able to lift the sword. Because unlike Leliana, Cassandra has not done terrible, terrible things in her past. She has always been a Chantry do gooder, a true believer from the womb to, to this day. And, and she will end up, yeah, I think she will end up trying to kill us, or at least disagreeing very strongly with what I plan to do. So we need to, we need to soften her. So when the day comes, I will kill her and not the other way around. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. Yes. Continue going down that path. That's exactly what I need. Let's finish talking to her and that will be the end of this cast. Something is troubling me, Inquisitor. Leliana is receiving reports of mages becoming possessed. Templars going rogue. No one is dealing with these matters. I was hoping we might, before they get worse. No, it is not our job. It is not our job. Or is it our job? Depends. When did I say it is not our job last time? Who was suggesting we do... No, but I think it was political in nature. Okay, one thing, one thing we need to remember. I want to gain the respect of the lower class. Certainly stopping abominations and rogue templars will accomplish that. I, I, I want to do that without... Uh, Strengthening the noble, the nobles, and especially anyone, anyone that's uh, related to monarchy. 
Which is something I already failed to do because fucking t is back in Redcliffe, but whatever. Couldn't be held, and Ora showed up with the army. So I will do so as long as the Inquisition gets the credit. And we are not saving important uh, noblemen. We can certainly look into it. I will mark these incidents on the map as I learn of them, Inquisitor. And I would be pleased to accompany you if and when you investigate. Okay, need to remember that. I have some more questions. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> okay, she won't tell me about her brother, I don't think so. I'll let you get back to work. Do you need something? Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinta mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. Yes, that's why I took him, actually. Do you have any advice for me? Watch the treasury carefully, with that Sarah present. <laughs> you think she's here to rob us? Possibly not, but I would hardly put it past her. Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. Yes. We need a weak divine. So the Templars... What do we need? We need a divine that hates the Inquisition. But... Uh, doesn't agree with the Templars. Basically, and that, and that has no charisma at all. I, will we? Uh, maybe we will be able to meddle in that election. Maybe. I would prefer no one is elected. I wish I, c I can do that. Prevent an election. Kill everyone in, in the College of Clerics. Do you have any advice for me? We must root out the Red Templars. They form the bulk of Corypheus's forces. Shit. Do you have any advice for me? Watch the new recruits. Liliana's spies are inevitable, and I agree. Yeah. Indoctrinated. Do you have any advice for me? Nothing that you could not think of yourself, Inquisitor. All right. So, That's enough for now. Another time, then. thank you very much for walking. And, uh, for walking, what? For watching. <laughs> and I hope we'll see you next time when we shall hopefully finish exploring this place. It's very, very big. Until then, Long Live Arlazan. Goodbye.